Oh, I'm at Old Snow in the rain. You can see there's lots of stuff here at this auction, so let's check it out. Here's a nice little Super W4. It's re somewhat restored anyways. Got a different, I don't know what they did with that, but the, must have a different filler deck on the rat or something. It's got the proper lights on it. Don't care with an open exhaust when it's raining though. There again, it's got uh, somebody did something with the battery box too. Is not right, but still got one at least. 1408J. Don't care for this much either, but tires are 14926s, so and they look nice. I don't know what they did with the drawbar, they whittled the drawbar down, it's narrower than the original, but... Okay... 1953 McCormick W4 Kale Kalika See Office for Info Barely read the writing that's got the right dash on it. It's not bad for street. This one's got the magneto on it instead of the distributor. Belt pulley is about 11 inch. It's usually 9 and 3 quarter, but 11 is definitely an option. So there's a nice little W4 with good tires and everything for somebody. There's a 1960 John Deere 730. It's restored. This one's a diesel. Most of these were a direct start. This one's got the start in the engine. Nice, nicely done. Brand new tires, they'd be 18 430s, I'm sure. New seat. Gauges. Yeah, that was a nice tractor, it really is. For restoration, it's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty, like the flywheel covers, or the pulley, the, the clutch covers buggered a bit, that's been bent a bit and stuff, but other than that, this is in the light bulb missing and stuff, but I'd say probably 8 out of 10, and for the most part, it is good. Just needs a little bit more TLC to get perfect, but there's a Johnny Popper for you. Here's an Oldsmobile. It looks like this is done, the Cutlass. Let's see. 1967 Cut Oldsmobile Cutlass for four door sedan, sedan 330 V8, two barrel carb, 88,000 miles, automatic reconditioned seats. Interior car, but replaced good glass. Dive state runs excellent. Alberta registered. There you go. This is a nice car. Somebody, somebody wants to go on a cruise night, boy. This is a good one. Nice. Here's a 4630 John Deere, and boy, is it a nice one. Nice and straight, original paint, which I like. Quad range transmission, transmission overhaul, high low clutch, and and PTO clutch, a brand new one. Hydro flu fluid filters, valve set, all new seals, oil change last year, field ready, everything works, two new batteries. Well, this is taken care of. Nice new tire on the out dual, but the insides are down a bit, but this is ready to go work for somebody. Dual remotes. And back tires are the only thing I can see that's really bad about that. You can see when things are original and looked after like that. To me, that's a big deal. I did the other, like I said, a full of paint covers a multitude of thin this track you can clearly see as well looked after. Here's a cog shut, 1800. It's got a farm head loader. 
the nice tires all the way around. Of course, this is Oliver Tractor. 18 434 rears look really good. Got dual remotes on it. And the drawbar. It is actually a pretty nice old tractor. Nice and straight, good tires. Somebody took care of this and that's something that buyers need to look at. Here's a Massey Ferguson 1155. It's actually pretty straight. Got the Perkins V8 on it. Shows 6206 hours on it. So 75. Okay. Tires are actually decent. Like their legs are, I'd say 60%, but the legs are straight with chains. That does that. Dual remotes on the track. Back big ass wheel weights. Drawbar. So there you go. There's a Massey for you. Here's the Farmall 560. Had a chicken shit loader out of some description, but that's all gone. Oh, it runs and drives, need water pump. He, uh, 6526SZ, so this has a uh, has high, high volume oil pump on it, the high volume hydraulic pump on it. It's actually fairly nice and straight, but needs the grill and the battery side. Tires are like new on the back. Somebody put a platform on this side and extended the fender out, that's a good idea. Nice new tires, these are, I imagine, 15, 538. Yeah, that's what they are. That's a nice, there's a nice straight 560, it just needs a water pump. So there's a fight. Oh, let's check the oil and make sure the antifreeze. Nope. Well, it could use a change, but it's not terrible. So there's a Farmall 560 for you. Here's a PS14 green leaker for you. I think these just have a pair of 471s on them. 29525 tires. Front ones are good. And these are just tilt, these are just dump goals, they aren't ejectors. Another 471 in the back. So there you go, there's a TS14 for you. Here's a John Deere 7020, which is also missing a grill. There again, new tires on the inside and the duals are decent too. There again, fairly straight. It's starting to rain here pretty good, but that's a brand new tire there. That's the values. That's a good value right there, getting those new tires on it. Uh, 98, 72.5 hours. There, dual remotes and drawbar on the back, 1000 RPM PTO. Nice rubber, they're not matching, but they're nice. So there's a John Deere 7020 for you with a dozer blade. Here's a John Deere 4640. This tractor looks nice and straight to me. It's got a Dagelman blade on it. Certainly, uh, headliner's nice. It could use some piece of the cab kit, but not bad. Uh, 3,109 hours, I don't know if that's correct or not, but I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, I would really wouldn't be surprised with that. This nice tractor, it really is. May have been around once, we don't know, but... Somebody took pride in this tractor, you can see that. It's got big tires on the back, they look like 24, 5, 
rings at least with the NDR it's got rings for duels on it it's got uh there again the drop bar is not a bad quadruple remotes on the back nice John Deere so there you go here's the 2470 case Inside tires are decent, the duels are checked, but their duels are good enough. It needs paint, but it doesn't look like anybody's ever beat it up or anything. I got checked for hours on every one. Although this drop bar is nice, I probably should have. Got two remotes plus a single remote, so I don't know what's going on with that. Must add some something in mind with that. I believe this is supposed to be a 1270 case, it's got a Dagelman dozer on it. The 18438 Titan rear there. They're, they're serviceable, but they, they're down a bit. Drawbar on the back. Somewhere on that. Dual remotes. So there's a 1270 case for somebody. Here's a 574 with an allied loader on the front. The grill is broken a bit there. Again, it's a plastic grill and the loader tractor, but overall it's fairly straight. This has got, uh, looks like 18 430s on the back or 169s. I can't even read them. It had 16 930s, but they're, uh, the tread's not bad, but they're cracked pretty good. They'll need attention at some point. 2767 is the hours it shows. I don't know if that's original or not, but very well could be. Like, tires are, don't have much more wear than that on them. Three point hitch and drop bar, dual remotes. So there's a 574 for you. Here's a 584. This one's got a canopy on it, which is nice. I think these both have the two, little 239 engine in. They could be wrong, maybe bigger or maybe smaller, but 2009.1 is what it shows for hours. Seat looks nice. Back tires look like about 18 430s. Front's probably 9.5 L15s. I'll just check. Can't even read them. I think they're 95 L15. This is a nice little tractor too. That sunshade be handy and it's also got a three-point hitch and a draw bar and two remotes plus a, or just a single set of remotes plus a three points. So there's a 584 for you. I don't know Ford well, but I think this is the 8N have to double check that this has got take all the restoration on it little three-point hitch puddle jumper yeah, I think this is Ford 8 in there you go here's a case 2090 with a Dell 795 loader on it Rear tires look nice. The 18 438. This one's got the three point hitch and triple remotes, I think. And the draw bar. I think it's 20.838 actually. No 18 4, but very nice tires on the front or on the back. Fronts are li this front's a little tired, alright, but there you go. Here's another little puddle jumper for it. I think this is the 9N actually. 
the welder tractor. Got a three point edge on it. A nice little Ford for somebody. Here's a real nice 4440 John Deere. Front tires, well, they're definitely serviceable. A nice straight one. Let's get up top and see. The hood's nice and perfectly straight. The interior's good. Hours show 7483.5. Well, the cab is really nice inside on this tractor. Brand new rears, 20.838 singles. Never had duels on by the look of it, the rings are gone. Triple remotes on the back, they went to Pioneers by the look of it. Drawbar, oh, definitely got somewhere on it. That 7,400 hours it would. The tips are still on the tires, so they're, they're brand new, so it's a nice 4440 for you. Here's a Ford tractor. Not sure what size it is, but it's got a Ford loader on it. 1482.5, a dough if that's accurate. 16924 tires, they're not bad. They got a few checks that they'll run, and of course, they got weights on it, three point on it, drawbar, snow remotes on it. Oh, well, I, I think they just got plumbed right, right into the loader though. They didn't use remotes. They had two valves here. A little gas job. Ford 2000, so there's a Ford 2000 with an, a Ford loader on it. There's a Bassey 135 with an Allied loader on it. Looks like a nice straight little tractor like you see the grill straight, so this does help pre prevent any dings, but still they took care of this tractor, you can see. This one's got studded t tires, 14,924, and they're nice. So 0643.5, I don't know if that's been around once. Looks good. Looks nice, it's got a three point on the back, drawbar. There's a Massey for you. Here's an 8 on Ford. Boy, that's a tired front tire. I believe this is 8 and it's a little rough. Yeah, that's tired. Back when they're tired, or this tight one's tired too. Three point hitch on the back. This tire's better and that tire's better. Someone put a dry type air cleaner on it. So there's another little Ford for you. This looks like a John Deere number eight more. Oh, it's a five. This is the number five John Deere mower. It's got the hydraulic cylinder on it. Looks like somebody put that on. It's got a new Pittman with it. It's got the guard for the PTO is with it and everything. That's nice. This looks like a John Deere 630 or 730 flywheel cover. Here's a little cock shut ship spreader. I think it looks like it's in pretty good shape, actually. It's be good for someone with chickens or something like that or a small farm of some kind so there you go here's a little ford 1900 tractor with an easy unloader on it front wheel assist good for someone with an acreage this is a japanese tractor shows 2720.5 is it hour count somebody built a uh, uh, they made a canopy but I don't understand what the mesh is about got a three point hitch on it it's got little uh, 24 inch tires 12.4 something like my 240 has 
Yeah, it's a nice little straight little tractor. It'd be good for somebody. There you go. Here's the UFE roller mill. So there you go, another. This looks like a really good one too. Comes with the auger and everything, so there you go. Here's a John Deere 4020. Yeah, John Deere M1 loader, but I'm not so sure that that, that is a John Deere loader. 68 it says, 68 40-20 standard. Carol Sinclair is the lady who's 3170 hours. I'm not sure if that's right. This has been repainted, but it is a nice looking 4020. They changed the seat on and stuff. We got 18. 434 rears and they're serviceable. God drawbar, dual height, dual sets of hydraulics, two, two remotes. This tire's not as good, but there again, it's serviceable, just cracked more. Yeah, I hope she does good with this tractor. It's a nice 4020, it's painted nice and stuff, so there's a 4020 for somebody. Here's a 4640 John Deere. It's got an easy unloader. The front's a little rough on this. Yeah, this is... It's got 20.838s on it. Great big axles on them, but these are pretty substantial tractor too. It's got uh, four remotes on it, and they got electrics with it. Here's a pair of W30s. I'll see this tractor. Yeah, this one's stuck, but there again, it's uncovered. This one here is also uncovered. It comes with stuff, but when the exhausts are uncovered, they're parts tractors at the most. Like he's, they're, they're both, when they, they leave the exhaust uncovered, they're usually junk, sadly. This one doesn't have a belt pulley on it, they got the cover on it. Or a speed transmission. Somebody put hydraulics on it. There's a pair of W30s for somebody. Here's a buzz saw somebody built with a PTO drive on it. So if you want to process firewood, this could be for you. Here's a pump jack and a wellhead. The beady wellhead and I think a beady pump jack. This could this is a no, I don't know if this is a tank heater stove or not, but it is a stove of some kind. So there you go. No, it's not a tank heater stove. It's not sealed, so there you go. Here's a railway uh, baggage cart. They used to have these at the train stations. Looks like a four-cylinder Deutsch engine. No, it's Petter engine. That's odd. Gen set. It's quite the gen set. Here's a little grader. This one was probably originally hoist drawn at one time, so there you go. Here's a 3020 John or 3010 John Deere, pardon me, it's not a 20. It's actually a fairly straight one. Tires are serviceable. I don't know if this is a runner or not, it's a 3020 standard, dual remotes on the back. So 0109.9, you know that's not right for hours, but... Probably been around once, this tire is really nice. So here's a 3010 for somebody. 
Here's the case I H4694. Front is grill is buggered up. Tires, though it's pretty tired to be. They're holding it up, but they're it, like they're not cracked, they just wore out. The back ones are better. Thought he'd get checked this for hours either. Got 1000 RPM pet PTO and a heavy duty driver on it. Can't get around worth a darn. Here's a 574 with a Leon loader on it. It's been painted, but she's rough. Coat of paint does cover a multitude of sins. The tires are nice, 16930s on the back seats, nice. Not all bad. 5214.7 is ours. Three point hitch on the back. We got dual PTOs, these ones are done backwards from the other. It's got two remotes on it, one set of IH remotes and one set of Pioneers plus the three point. But yeah, you, the numbers aren't even worn off, these are brand new tires. So say these are 100% almost, is not out of the line, they're 99% tires on the back. The front's also good, so. He looked after it that way, but it is a little rough. So there's a 574 loader tractor. Here's a shitter for somebody. Here's a John Deere 7721 pull pipe combine. These are not quite as big as a 1482, but they're bigger than a 914. They're conventional machine, I think they're probably a 60 inch or something like that. So there you go. Like 23, 126 tires, that's the same as 914. These are a little bit more combine, but I don't think... But they're certainly not at a 1482 size either. So there you go. Here's a 1682 case IH. This, I think, is one of the last of the 1682s. Like, they got a 1015 header like you do on the rest of them, but they're an offset for the pull type combine. They're different. So these, they have big, I guess it's got 28 L26 tires on there. They're a big machine. They're, uh, like, they're a 1680 size. They're just a pull type version. I think the last of these are built at the same time as the 1688s and then they discontinued pull type combines altogether. So there you go.